everybody, we're back, and this time I've I've got my top button done up, uh, and I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to game um, and go in the right direction. Unlike last time, uh, there's our last run, the Lost Mega Satan. I would say mission accomplished in some ways. How about Tainted Lost Delirium? You know what? Um, I I deserve that. I I did not treat this office with the decorum and the sanctity that it warrants. And as a result, sure, let's let's do it, man. And I, I'm I'm a simple man now, you know. Like at least we don't have to do it. You know what I mean? Like at least it, the, the post-it notes already been handled. Um, so we're we're really just like we're just chilling, just chilling. I'd like to chill with you to get to delirium. By the way, it's kind of a slap in the face because you gotta basically do hush. You could you could either do hush or you could have a fifty percent chance after doing Mega Satan. Um, I wouldn't bet on me to win this one. If you're if you're watching this at you know like the win or or maybe at the Cosmo in Vegas and they're saying hey you know nine to one odds we're gonna give you nine to one odds on this one, I think you know the fair uh, efficient pricing for this one you know we're probably looking at like a thirty to one but you got to give it a try man thirty to one things happen all the time every year a thirty to one thing happens a, a team wins the NBA championship. That's not how odds work. Wait, you're telling me that the Sacramento Kings don't have the same odds to win the uh, NBA championship as the Milwaukee Bucks? Seems surprising. Kidney Stone, kind of good now. Kind of good. Especially, I think Kidney Stone Rock Bottom is like, that's a, that's a classic Tainted Cane combo. It's our Tainted Cane combo of the game. Uh, it's extremely important we go to the shops. Notice I've been watching a lot of British TV. I call them the shops. You can really hear the extra PES in there, and I'm not talking about Konami's soccer game. I have not been watching a lot of British television, but in, in, I would say I've been watching near zero, but I've been watching near zero of like a lot of television. It's not a British thing. Um, I definitely think, you know, you're, you're going to give it your all. If you're going to give it your all, you're definitely going to look to try to get that uh, there's options with there's options not being available to us. So be it. We'll save our money and hopefully we'll have the opportunity to mm, perhaps pick up like a... It's it's all about the number of... I mean, y you need to fulfill two different requirements on this run. That's, that's the best way to explain it, I think. Oh, these come back, so don't just chill there. You need to fulfill two different requirements on this run. One of them is be strong enough to kill the... Uh, this could be a holy card. To kill the delirium. And and also, I suppose... Hey, hold on. This is some good stuff, man. It's not, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Um, you gotta be strong enough to kill delirium, which means you basically gotta be strong enough to kill hush. We are gonna get more options, too. Would you look at that? Chance to, fawn, to spawn a friendly bony when clearing a room. It's it's interesting, right? The idea that maybe um, that friendly bony could like play a self-sacrifice room, but learning what we learned about bonies recently and their fleets of bone cars, I do wonder if it's uh, if it's worth it because I think they the bony leaves after one room. If it didn't, I I might be. Persuadable. Wow, that just very rude, quite frankly. Just a, a very rude setup. Two shopkeepers have paid out with zero coins. Um, why don't you go ahead and give me more options? I'm I'm going deep on this one, man. I think we I mean I'm I'm not really that interested in fishing for the quarter. But I am gonna fish for the quarter. Uh and I, I think you, you gotta peep the self-sacrifice room. Just in the hopes that maybe there's some skulls in there. You, oh, I was just gonna say, you blow up the skulls. Uh, you, you blow up the skulls, you get a skull. Who could have possibly predicted this? You blow up the skull. You get a demon heart. It's like the one time we would have preferred a card to a demon heart, but so be it. You hit the button, you get a, a troll bomb. What a strange floor. Simultaneously both very good and highly annoying. <laughs> I think, by the way, as Tainted Lost, I, this is, I'm defaulting to my own lack of wisdom here, I suppose. Um, I, I think you can't get, like, a bad trip pill. I think you can get other negatives 
like I think you get stats down and stuff like that, but I don't think you can get a bad trip pill. Hold on, I got a, an important push notification here. Okay, my, my important push notification. This is not to knock my mom, okay? I, I love that my mom... I told you it was a long weekend. I, a, I love my mom, I love my parents. But it, it just goes to show you, it's like how your relationship with your parents changes when you get older, right? It's 9.24 a.m. My mom just sent me a message with like 17 exclamation marks in it. What is the body of the message? Hey, I just made cauliflower nuggets in the air fryer and even your dad loved them. That's a, it's a very wholesome message. I should note that my parents uh, live in the eastern time zone, so it, it's, it is afternoon for them. I will also note that it, as it is a long weekend, I'm sure they probably ate lunch at like 10.45 a.m. and waited until a socially more acceptable and permissible lunchtime. Wow, that's pretty good. In order to send me that message. But hey, you know, good to know. I'm not, I'm, I'm not knocking it. I could, I could go for some cauliflower nuggets. I mean, that's all I got. Like, I, I've been meaning to make, and, and this is like, you know, good intentions don't really mean that much versus like actually putting some stuff into practice. But um, I've been meaning to make some more meatless meals. You know, I'm, I'm in charge of the, of the cooking, more or less, you know, four or five nights a week. I, I will say, you know, I've, I've been defaulting, I've been falling back on my late 2000s cooking habits, you know. Uh, a decent cut of meat, cooked nicely, some kind of either starch or vegetable-based side. And it comes together real quick, that's the thing, right? Like, it's, it's super easy to do, like, um, more meatless cuisine. If you're meal prepping, you know, to, to make a, a chili or a curry and make it vegetarian or something like that is... <clears throat> I don't know, it seems like more economical because of the fact that you're cooking like a week's worth of meals at the same time. But to come up with a, a new meatless meal five times a week, it's definitely doable. I gotta I gotta get there. You know? I gotta I don't know if cauliflower nuggets are gonna be one of them. I think I have an innate sort of uh, or maybe it's not innate, maybe it's learned, but I got a hesitation towards meat based substitutes. Um hold on. Enemies explode into tears upon death, which inherit the effects of Isaac's tears. <clears throat> or, hold on, entering a room that requires you... Never, entering a room that requires a key brings you in a room resembling the hush stage. Room acts as an in-between of the two rooms. Look, Cracked Crown doesn't really seem like it's doing too much, but I don't know if there's goodness or badness there. I, I'm gonna take my my damage up instead. The speed down kind of kind of deadly, right? But vasculitis, though, I'm realizing I don't think it's as bad as I thought it was. The idea that you can inherit the tears of, uh, or that that the enemies inherit your tears is is kind of interesting. I thought we'd buy the. Oh, that's that's quite nice. <clears throat> for me to poop on. Um, I, I thought we'd buy the sack just because it, it seems so important to like get every available opportunity to get uh, holy cards. Anyway, cauliflower nuggets. How about that? I mean, if you're if you're eating a nugget, I'm not against a dry nugget. Like I'll, I'll eat uh, I'll eat dry McNuggets any day of the week. Hold on, this is important. Can we go to the deal with the devil? The answer is yes, right? <clears throat> We're going to delirium, which means there's no reason you can't. Okay, okay. Um, ocular rift or little delirium? We'll go ocular rift. We did go to our item room on this floor. We can we can leave. We can leave. Let's leave. Um, but when it comes to like a especially a chicken nugget cooked at home, I think it's it's more about the dipping sauce, right? I meant to, to tweet this, actually, but it was a genuine question. I don't eat a lot of barbecue sauce, okay? So what is in... Oh, that's so bad, because we're not regular lost. In your opinion, what is the best widely available commercial barbecue sauce? Because I know you're going to be like... I, I, I bake in a lot of stipulations, because I've, I've asked the internet a lot of questions. 
if you live in, um, you know, a different continent than me, we're just going to try to be very defensively minded here. If you live in a different continent than me, and you're like, oh, you got to try, you know, Samson's dry mustard barbecue dust. I'm like, I, I get it. Like, you live in uh, Ghent. I can't necessarily get that. I'm, I'm talking about North American commercially available barbecue sauces. Because I, I made the, some burgers this weekend. I thought, you know what would be nice? Let's get a little barbecue sauce on there. You know, just always, always mix it up a little bit. At the grocery store, I bought Sweet Baby Ray's. I, it's entirely marketing. It's because it, I I, uh, I don't want to re-roll for the record. But um, it's because uh, on the internet, people are always talking about, like, you know, a few different kinds of sauces. They're always, if you're talking barbecue sauce, they're always talking about Sweet Baby Ray's. If you're talking about, I think this has changed now, but there was a large period of time where you, like, Sriracha was... Like a borderline meme. I got nothing against Sriracha. I, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I think there was a period where it was perhaps highly, let's not say overrated, but like overrepresented in the hot sauce samples. People were wearing, you know, Sriracha shirts everywhere. I got nothing against it, but I, you know. I think you can do equivalent, if not better. Uh, I'm, I'm okay dropping Cracked Crown. It's it's kind of tight, but I, I think a luck upgrade... Doesn't this advantage us when it comes to dropping consumables on the ground? I think it does. We do have... It, it's it's tight, man, because we got two items that do nothing, right? Like, the, the box, cardboard box, and then um, matchbook really don't do a lot for us. So the full run reroll is kind of tempting. And I, I'm, I'm looking at it more honestly. We, we definitely just want the speed upgrade here. Um, you might think that that makes it more likely. I, I would disagree. I would say that that item is actually kind of just what I needed. I needed some kind of speed. Don't hit me. More than anything else, we just need a holy card, though. Please? No greed? No greed. Um... I think you gotta respect car battery. Now we have three items that do nothing for us. <laughs> um, this is tight. Cause the run is is actually no uh, is actually done. Um, so like I, I you're gonna laugh at me. What I was literally about to say as we look at this here, randomize. Lazarus the lamb. Now that's a normal run. I can get down with that. What I was about to say was, I don't think we should have taken Ocular Rift. Lazarus? Lazarus? There, there you are. That is this is regular Lazarus, right? He's got the hair, he's got the freckles, cute button nose. It's Lazarus by a mile. Um, to the lamb, okay. What I was about to say is, I think Ocular Rift is good, but also if you can't get hit uh, literally ever, it's kind of... <laughs> maybe it's not so good. Hmm. Don't mock me here. I know normally people might suggest it is better to get a uh, deal with the devil and then respawn and grab. I think I just did that wrong. Um, I, I like coming back early as Lazarus, but I, I think it's only because sometimes you get HP from your boss fight on the first floor, and then you're like, oh, I wish I had this HP on the life that I was, like, more likely to stick with. Because you do get, like, a 25% damage boost or something like that for the reroll. I don't know. There's so many moving parts to pay attention to now. You might as well pick this up. There's no, you know... It's not like we're not able to take damage later. Um... That's what we're looking for. So, but I, I gotta remember, there's probably a better way to lose uh, HP as well. Like, if we can find a, an eddy room in particular, even if we can't get to the, the real sauce, then, you know, we, we still like to give it a try there. Anyway, I'm not really, uh, I'm not sore at all over that, uh, whoa, uh, Delirium Tainted Lost Run. I, I thought we did pretty well. We should not have been hit, uh, and this is just a gimme, but we should not have been hit 
please get out. I needed that potentially to play an Eddie room, you jerk. Uh, by the Gertie, but, you know, that accepted. I thought we, we did a pretty okay job. Not a super throw, if, if it's a throw at all. Eddie room? Eddie room? No Eddie room. Anyway, yeah, cauliflower nuggets. How about that? I'm glad my, my parents are making the most of the civic holiday. You gotta respect it. <laughs> I will say I've been playing some more Pokemon Unite. I have, I have elevated my game. I am now at the expert level, uh, which I think is, is... It's only third from the bottom. It goes like beginner, great, expert, or something like that. They gotta work on the, on the terminology. Because it, it goes beginner, great, expert, veteran. I would think that veteran... My my knowledge or, or understanding of the English language tells me that veteran should be um, below expert. Expert is like second from the top. You know, you got master or, you know, legend or something like that, champion. Veteran is just like you've been doing it a while. Like veteran in the NHL, it's almost an insult. You're like, well, you've never heard of him, but he's an NHL veteran. He's been in the league for 17 years. He's got four points. Anyway, I made it to Expert, and I'm proud to say that I have not been MOBA hold yet, which is when you find yourself doubling down on playing the game in spite of your misery. I still, I, I treat it very much like a casino. Um, if I'm having fun, then I'm like, good. And the second I stop having fun, I'm like, turn this game off. Because uh, it's supposed to serve me, not the other way around, as, we, as we've touched upon before. Um... I'm, I'm happy with this, by the way. I, I, look at it. 0.7 damage bonus is nothing to sneeze at. You know, the other uh, benefits here notwithstanding. Um, but I will say I have reached the point where, like, I'm, I'm starting to learn. And this might be a touch biased, but based on the, um, the characters or the Pokemon that my teammates pick, I do start to have, like, oh, no. Like, in Dota, I don't know if this is still the case, but, you know... There was a, when, when I was playing it, almost every game had a Ricky Maru in it, which was a, uh, a ganker that could go invisible. And I really just feel like it's one of those things where invisibility is, a, you know, it appeals to people, it makes it much harder to detect, you're probably going to squeeze out a lot more kills that way, um, makes you harder to kill while you're invisible, obviously, so like... There's a, I can understand why, but you would reach the point where, like, when literally every game had one of these characters, you're like, you know, it doesn't necessarily reflect super positively on the people that play it, because you get a wide gamut. We're going Angel Deals, by the way. You'll get some that are like, I play Ricky Maru because he matches my play style, and then you're some that, you get some people that are like, invisibility fun. <laughs> and, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you're playing Pokemon Unite, okay... If you main Cinder Ace, I have a chip on my shoulder now. This is... Uh, no, actually, is terrible. Let's take it. <laughs> it's bad. Let's have some fun. Uh, Cinder Ace is, like, potentially one of the strongest characters in the game. You know? Very fast. Uh, you know, does damage over time. Whoop. Uh, it just does a lot of damage in general. I feel like I consistently, and you know, again, there's sometimes you 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 see what you're looking for, right? If if you're looking for something, you're always gonna see it. So I think that I've caught myself in kind of a spiral where like the more I play with Cinderaces and we lose, the more I'm like, wow, let's see what this Cinderace is doing, and they're like, you know, doing nothing, <laughs> and I'm like, see. I don't necessarily think that just because you play the character, it means you're bad. Let me put it that way. I'm trying to avoid that kind of causal relationship. Um, instead, and I, I'm, I'm willing to get loco, man. Let's peep this real quick. Lucky us. But I, I just, so many times I end up, like, just being stunned that you people will, like, play a DPS. And they'll be like, you know what I'm going to do here? I'm not even going to attack. I'm just going to, like, I, I'm just going to hang out on, like, the outside of this fight and, like, if it looks like I can pick up some cheeky kills, maybe I'll get in. But otherwise, may maybe I won't, though, also. Maybe I'll just hang out on the... on, And, you know, man, I'm never going to dunk any points. And I, I I don't know what it is, but... Whenever I see a... Whenever I see a Cinderace, I'm like... I'm... My... It, because the character is so strong, it feels like my odds of winning should skyrocket. 
But I feel like instead they like bottom out. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, and there's a flip side to that. You know, when I see a Mr. Mime, I'm like, I'm scared. You know, I've, I've beaten Mr. Mimes before, there's no doubt. Little haunt, fear him. Okay, whatever you say. Ooh, scary. Um, Judgment. I'm, I was gonna blow it up regardless. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on that track. Um, I've beaten Mr. Mimes before, and I, hey, I've won with Cinderaces before. It's not really what I was looking for, honestly. <laughs> um, but when I see a Mr. Mime, I'm like, I'm, I'm a little frightened. And it's entirely because I really don't think anybody out there has Mr. Mime as their favorite Pokemon, unless they're a frickin', unless they're like the Joker, right? We need to, we need to get this to do more damage, maybe. Car battery? I see the Tinted Rock. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the Fandango? Beautiful, look at that. Okay, F you. Um... So whenever I see someone that's playing as Mr. Mime, it's basically like wh what that character does is troll. So like when I see that, I'm like, oh no, I'm about to get freaking trolled, man. I'm about, he's about to put up like a shoulder high wall. I'm going to jump 35 feet in the air as Snorlax to do a heavy slam. And then the wall's going to block me for some reason because, uh, you know, there's no way to convey dimension in that game, apparently. So yeah, I mean, I, we're, this is the anecdote desert. So I, I played like three games of Pokemon Unite across the entire weekend, and and that's my uh, <laughs> that's you know like the number two thing I talked about. I did also you know on top of watching the movie Willy's Wonderland, I did also watch the movie uh, or at least the the back half because Kate watched like the first half and then she was like, "You got to see how bad this is." There's a movie called Blood Red Sky. It, it I think it's a German movie um, that's just a mashup of. An unbelievable amount of... It's number seven in movies on Netflix today, by the way, which just goes to show you that when the... I mean, I watched it, so I'm not gonna... I guess I'm like, yeah, but I did it ironically. But but I did do it ironically, so I don't know what you want me to say. It just goes to show you when things are free, like, people... Uh, they're much less discerning audience. Which makes sense, I suppose. Beautiful bomb. Beautiful bomb. Be a terrible dodge, but a beautiful bomb. And now I can't fight the angel statue. I'm actually stupid. Um, I'm actually dumb. Double locust of pestilence. Upon hit, Isaac drops two of his pickups. Okay. I mean, I, I feel like a double locust of pestilence, man. I feel like Pablo. Jar of wisps. The, the more you use this early, the happier you are. So I, I don't think we're going to be able to get back in there because I'm stupid. But I do think hopefully we can, you know, play Eddie Rooms or something and, and still get to Delirium. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm using my bombs for nothing. Let's be realistic. Like, this is not a smart play. Consolation Prize has greatly raised our, uh, our stats there. I would like... Oh, man, there was even a bomb just sitting there. I would like to... Uh, oh, you know what? We, this is so good that we actually have these batteries here. Because the, the faster you get this Jar of Wisps charged up, the happier you're going to be. I don't know if we're going to get full here, but well, you know what? We definitely are. Um, let's not use a bomb. Now I'm like, I'm, I'm never going to use a bomb ever again. Nah, man. It's only angel statues for me from here on out. I, I don't think... I mean, I'm not sold that, like, Jar of Wisps is the most incredible item in the game. I do think it's kind of fun, um, especially if you can get some battery charges. We already got battery pack, but it's okay. Anyway, Blood Red Sky. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the reminder. So it's like um, a, a mother and her very young son. You know, he's probably, like, eight or nine years old. Um, they're on a flight from Europe to New York City, um, and here is the... I'm not gonna bury the lead. Isn't this, like, our seventh wave here? Um, she's a vampire, alright? But she's going to, like, New York to get treated for vampirism. Uh, unfortunately... So, now, we've already got, like, okay, so it's like a monster movie with a heart, right? 
Then, um, I'm sorry to inform you that the plane also gets hijacked, like Air Force One. Uh, and then, on top of the plane being hijacked, the, um, the leader of the hijackers wants to become a vampire. So, in, and I'm not going to spoil it necessarily, but let's just say he manages to accomplish that goal. Uh, around the midpoint of the movie. So it's kind of like a snakes on a plane, but it's vampires on a plane. Uh, but And it's also like Train to Busan, and it's like... Uh, it's just a mishmash. It's it's a lot of different uh, genre shoved into the same film. Uh, would I recommend it? No. Um, and I, I look, it's so much easier to just only give opinions on movies you like. Because it only gets you in uh, trouble if they're Marvel movies. Um, I'm sure some people watched this this weekend and went, you know, like, it was a fun turn-your-brain-off sort of thing. That's fine. Like, you know. I think we as a society have to be better at disagreeing on trivial things. You know, when it comes to the serious stuff, I'd never be like, oh, debate less, you know? When it comes to the trivial stuff, I'm like, come on, man. Like, uh, this weekend on Twitter, I saw that, like, The Last Jedi was trending again, and I was just like... We gotta, we gotta get over this, man. It's so, it's one movie from December 2017. <laughs> we gotta move on. If you liked it, which I did, honestly, and I know, this, then you're like, what? It's objectively, we're not talking, it's, a, it's an entertainment property, okay? If you liked it, great. If you didn't like it, great. Can we all just, like, shut up? That's, I guess, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Uh, at least about Star Wars. Like, I'm just... I know, I know I talk about it now and then, but... You know, when I talk about... It, there's a difference between, I think, like, giving your opinion and being like, let's fight. This is... I'm just sharing, you know? Uh, I, I didn't think I stepped on the creep there, but... Perhaps I uh, was mistaken. Deal with the angel, please. Redemption. I have a bomb this time. Oh, dude, that's so lucky. Actually saved. By the way, holy water, not so bad, man. Not so bad. Wait, we're not... What am I... I'm so freaking twisted up, man. We're not even going to Delirium. We're going to the Lamb. Why am I so concerned about getting the key piece? I mean, it's nice to get more angel deals in the future, but... I... I I'm, all, I'm all twisted up, man. You know what it is? I, I haven't done my Slay the Spire run yet today. That, I find it usually is like a nice little uh, meditation. It gets you into thinking strategically. It gets you maintaining a, a logical degree of consistency over the course of an hour. That was close. I've been, I've been in hardcore Isaac mode lately. The Fool. Um, it's good. We can use that. Uh, uh, we might be able to make boss. Right? I mean, the fool is like, we can always get another one later, I guess. But um, anyway, this this runs in an interesting spot, huh? Like, it's it's close. It's not quite there. Hold on. I, I was going to say, I'm not letting that one get away for free. <laughs> you never know if it's going to be magic mush, but this runs uh, is interesting. I definitely don't see a, a reason why it, it, it's, like, precluded from success. But I also don't see a compelling reason that it's quite there yet. Double local uh, locus of pestilence. Uh, I have to be honest, I don't think I've seen, like, a single fly. But I, it is something that I thought to myself I'd like to gulp. But I'm realizing it's... Oh, there's our flies. It's possible, like, two uh, Locust of Pestilence flies is worth less than one Locust of War, now that I think the explosion radius is a little bit fixed. Hello. You know what? I actually am a complete believer in this. You gotta give me more charge than that, though. Come on. Like, every one of these that we get up is worth a ton. By the way, is this guy... He's on, like, a static payout, huh? Like, it, it's, he seems to pay out at just, like, a regular interval. Maybe I'm wrong there, but... Gemini, um... We, we gotta be, like, winning the familiar game right now. <laughs> Not looking great for using this fool card. 
Oh, you know, they won't let me into that room, will they? They will not. Um, alright, well, let's take the fool card with us. So, yeah, um, instead of watching, like, any, uh, good movies this weekend, instead, apparently, I just watched, like, one and a half not-so-good ones. But I think, like, I'm, I'm a believer in the idea that... Good movies and bad movies are like two different kinds of entertainment property. And I don't think that's controversial. I think most people will agree. But I, I think it's like the difference between like a meal and a snack, you know? Now, am I snacking a little bit too much when I should be eating some, you know, lobster thermidor or whatever? I don't even know what that is. But um, I'm glad it popped in my head because it's kind of a ridiculous name. Um, yeah, maybe. As long as you don't give me a lobster humidor. I mean, like at that point, yuck. Give me some smoked salmon, maybe, but a cigar lobster? No, thank you. Minus two, minus two. Uh, if I wanted your opinion, I would ask for it, okay? Straw man waiting in the sky. He'd like to <laughs> let you know there's a problem with your thesis. He's a straw man. But, like, you know, there's times where, you know, people might be like, oh, you ruined your appetite eating Ruffles all dressed potato chips. We're gonna have dinner soon. You're like, yeah, but. I didn't want to eat meatloaf sandwiches. I wanted to eat, I wanted a snack, you know, it's two different things. Like snacking can fulfill hunger, but it's also like kind of eating to fulfill boredom, I suppose. <laughs> I feel like when I watch a good movie, there's like, there's different reasons, you know, like I might be watching it to feel something, an emotion. I might be watching it to learn a lesson or something like that, or to learn something about, you know, a dramatized view of history, perhaps. When I watch a bad movie, I'm like, I'm like, I'm bored. Let's make fun of something that a lot of people worked very hard on, but uh, with their head in the wrong place. Some of them are like, they're made to be made fun of, too. Like, I, I when I was watching Blood Red Sky, I was like, this movie takes itself way too seriously for a movie about, like, a plane full of vampires. But... <laughs> Maybe, I, I don't know, people are into it, man. And again, it's like the same as the Star Wars thing. If you watched it and you're like, you know, oh, I really liked it. What didn't you like about it? It's okay. We don't like, honestly, who cares? If you liked it, great. You know, you, you got a good use of your time on the weekend. Congratulations. I'm, I'm, it sounds sarcastic, but it's not. I'm, I'm genuinely happy for you. Look at this. Just to go, sit down, get yourself a lobster humidor, then a little blood red sky. Hey, that's a that's a Sunday right there. A deal with the devil. Um, I would rather not give in the choice. Ace of Diamonds, Justice, he just popped. This is like, this is a chore, man. The Fool, the High Priestess, the Emperor. Um, we don't need to fight Mega Satan. I guess you might as well at least look, right? I'm actually, like, pretty tempted to take uh, Rodden Baby, but I think we should not. Our HP is so bad, and we've got none of it over the course of the... What are you doing? Even as it was happening, I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, man. Not, not my finest moment. But I, I feel like it's important... Especially because our damage is also not that good, so I don't, I don't really know like what is good for us on this run. But I think it's important for us to to take some time here, you know, get some effort going on. This is a very weird shop for me because, uh, I mean, like, Mom's box of trinkets gulp is pretty good, but I also feel like you really got to stick with the orb if you if you started going with the orb. Um, moreover, we don't really need to buy the smelter because, uh, hello, scary. We already have gulp, and, you know, when you got gulp, you're like, I don't, I shouldn't need the smelter, but I guess I haven't taken that much damage. We're, we're mighty close to death. Like, we're, we're one bad, I mean, literally, I think if we go in the curse room, we die, because we have this rotten heart. So, I, 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 I'm not willing to, you know, be the guinea pig for rotten heart to screw me, like, on two runs in the course of a very small amount of time. Um... Deals with the devil cost money instead of HP. Is that worth giving up this golden uh, pestilence? I would like to think that it doesn't have to be worth it. Um, and instead we could gulp them. But gulping requires taking damage. And taking damage is, uh, is tough. 
right now because we have half a spirit heart and half a red heart. So I think like one of the ways you can try this, like for now, I think that you definitely do do that. I think you could, if you'll if you'll hear me out here. I think you could go get the Temperance card, burn your Rotten Heart, replace it with a full Red Heart, and then maybe start to think about tactically using the very limited real estate you got here. That's such a good get, man. That's such a bad get, man. Um, but I don't want to just lose the Rotten Heart for nothing. I mean, I know I, I'm probably overrating its effect, but... I will tell you, by the way, I don't think Jar of Wisps is actually that good. <laughs> I think it's doing some okay stuff, but uh, overall, I'm like, I'm not totally sold on this. Even if, you know, we're, we're going to get the seven Wisps on our next play, I'm still not like, oh, easy. But I think we'll just, uh, was there a spirit art for sale in here? I'd like to be able to buy Rotten Baby if they'll keep the Devil Door open. They probably won't, though. Stars card kind of sick. This is a weird one because I, I really don't feel like we got super unlucky. Like, I, I don't feel like this run totally screwed me. But I also feel like I've played relatively well, except for maybe the first floor. And I, I'm willing to keep the stars card for now, honestly. I haven't thrown any HP away except for those spikes that we walked on while I was shouting, What am I doing? Stars. I think you got to try, man. Let's, let's get let's get dangerous. Darkwing Duck. Oh God! I thought you wanted to not be controversial. Don't don't talk about kids' cartoons from the '90s that might eventually be rebooted. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Finally, a Spirit Heart. There we go. Now now we're back in the money. Um, what's interesting for me is I, I got to think about this. What if? Um, like, do you think that this Keeper's Bargain, do you think it works like that on the Lamb floor as well? I think we can fight the boss as long as we just grab a Fool card. Like, if we can get an early Fool card here, oh, it's not there, huh? Wait, the shop was right there. We already fought Greed. We fought Greed, we can go! I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Anyway, if we get an angel deal, it's great. If we get a if we get no angel deal, and we get a devil deal, it's fine. If we get no deal, it's okay. We save money for a future floor. We are not going to get to boss rush. Unfortunate. Um, we we could have definitely milled a little bit more out of this floor. I don't know what I was thinking. What I'm thinking right now is. Uh, don't get hit again. <laughs> that's that's the main thing on my mind. That changed recently. Okay, what I'm thinking right now is like nice gulp. Haven't been having like banner mom fights lately. Oh, uh, dude, thank you so much. Okay, now we have to take the negative because we're going to the lamb fight. Um, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a little funky. I'm I'm hoping we either get an angel deal. Like this floor is a high percentage chance, right? I'm hoping we either get an angel deal familiar that follows the exact movements and has the same damage and tear effect as the player. It, it, let me guess, it dies in one hit. Because that otherwise, that's pretty great. Although Fruitcake's slightly scary. If you're scared by it, you, you didn't have to take it, so... It's funny, he doesn't seem to be following uh, my exact movements based on the fact that uh, we're offset right now. Um, anyway, do we like these? Why not, you know? Adrenaline powered, uh, panic power, doesn't it give you more damage? Wow, that was scary. Um, the more uh, HP you're missing, and we're not really missing any HP, unfortunately. I wouldn't say I'm missing it, Bob. I mean, you can see, we, we got some real potency here. It, and the Wisps are actually, like, alive. I don't know. Now now I'm thinking it, there, there might be a use case here, man. Like, there might be a chance. I can't say for certain, but... 
Dare I say, by the way, I, I almost, almost feel, and I, I don't think I've played very well this run necessarily. I've dodged well. I don't think I've done my due diligence when it comes to, like, you know, looting everything. Um, but dare I say that I feel like, uh, sadly, that's not our cursed room. Uh, that I'm, or that's not our secret room, I should say. Um, that, I, that I feel like I'm in a little bit of, like, an Isaac slump. And, and the runs take in, um, we, we don't even touch Soul of Jacob and Esau unless maybe there's a, an Eddie room here. Um, the runs take in like one by one, you know, in a vacuum, I don't think actually make a slump. But uh, I certainly think that we, we could have at least popped out a win on like one of the, I mean, we did have, okay. Um, we did we did have a win on one of the runs, but it was like an easy one. I think on one of these tough ones that we've had like semi recently. We, we could have done better. I, I've been doing my best, for the record. I haven't just been, like... Except for that time that I walked on the spikes. I've been... And, and the HP that we lost in the mom fight, I suppose, but... Apart from those two specific moments and any other ones I forgot, I'm like, our actual play seems kind of okay. But our results have not been bearing that out recently. Uh, of these, like, Prism's fun, but but Crown of Light, it, I didn't even realize that it's HP. Um, but, yeah, the extra damage potential from Crown of Light, uh, pretty sick. Also makes me think that Found Soul got twice as good, although it will still die, I'm assuming, in one hit. We can also now fight the uh, Mega Satan. We don't want to, because it gates us from being able to fight the Lamb unless we fight the Lamb first. And if we fight the Lamb first, well, then we've completed our objective. Um, thank you. But, you know, it's a nice thought. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the thought that counts. And I'm so, like, I'm, I'm twisted up, man, let me tell you. Because I'm realizing, like, we've got this rotten heart, right? I don't know what we're going to do about that. We got this rotten heart. And it's, it's just sitting there waiting to ruin our lives. That's what happened, uh... On that run that I was like, I was sure we had 2 HP, but we died in one hit uh, on the lamb fight itself. What happened was uh, we had two heart containers, and they were both filled with rotten hearts, which is actually only one heart full of HP. Um, I, I oftentimes forget about that effect. Okay, that's it, it happens. I'm annoyed, but it happens. I'm actually going to play the judgment. I know we got an enemy left here, um, but I'm going to play the judgment. Because I think our odds of getting a deal with the devil are pretty low. Our odds of spending so much money on the judgment we wouldn't be able to pay for a good deal are, are lower still. And our odds that this won't pay out with something useful are low as well. Um, wait a minute. Let, what is the fool card? Let go and move on. Drops all your hearts and pickups on the floor. Pickups can spawn as the quarter or ten bombs if the amount is sufficient. That seems... Uh, pretty useless. That's very not useless, though. Thank you. That's, like, literally exactly what I wanted. Um, so I don't think we actually face uh, too much trouble here. If we, uh, like, with respect to our Rod and Heart, I think we're fine. Um, but at the same time, you know what? It didn't take my rod and heart. I, I thought it was going to take half a spirit heart there, to be honest, but that's okay. This is actually preferable. Let's just fill this up with some real hearts. That way we know where we stand. Like, I think two heart containers rod and heart is where you, you get a little risky. Because, like, one HP container with a rod and heart, it, it doesn't weather the storm of a single hit regardless, right? On, once you get down to the double damage area down here. I think we're putting something together here. You know, you, you gotta hand it to Repentance. It, it's, on average, we're making, like, uh, you know, almost hour-long videos on the regular. And I'm, like, not bored on them by the end most of the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm engaged almost the whole time. <laughs> this one, especially, because it's kept HP low. I thought I saw a double-tinted rock in here. I think it, it my my... Um, my eyes have deceived me. I know what you're thinking. Maybe the Locust? But I, even though it doesn't last very long, I do think that the, uh, 
the found soul has been... It, its damage potential is so much higher. Maybe it's not because Locust of War uh, will give us... And remember, we're going down. Locust of War does four times our damage, which is 50 damage. Like, that's, that's mighty good. That's mighty good. All right, well, I think the womb was, like, transformative for us, which was probably true on, like, a, you know, biological level as well. I, I, I did, I swear I had my first growth spurt. I, by the way, you don't have my permission to say ooh to that. Lord, show me how to say ooh to this. I don't know how to say bonk to this. Um, but that's, like, I'm always stunned. At, at what people will ooh. You know, you, you could even just be like, ah, sorry, I, you know, had some phlegm in my throat. People are like, you know, Dan's game, Dan's game. Ooh, it, it's just the human body, you know? You were born, get over it, you know? <laughs> it's like my, my indictment of Zoomer humor. You were born, get over it. What, what about the airplane food? What is the deal with airplane food? We we almost figured it out. The moon. We got to peep. We did not have to peep. Comedic timing. Um, but it's always nice, you know, we're we're getting closer to um getting 10 wisps out there. We lost almost all of our other wisps. But it's okay, because at this point, you know, even when you lose your wisps, uh, what a lucky get there. Uh, pressing the space bar and getting, you know, 10 or 11 of them is a pretty solid uh, improvement. Very nice. Real nice. Can you stop, like, uh, crashing into me? Trying to keep these wisps alive. It's a little bit of an escort mission. I'm not sure if you're a gamer, but if you were a gamer, you'd understand. And I'm trying my best here. Now, I, I, I'm i glad we didn't, because I think we got some other good stuff out of our card slot. But I'm like, man, if you had that soul of Jacob and Esau... I'm, I'm starting to... I've said it a billion times now, but I'm starting to look at like those souls as uh, like free Eddie Room plays. In that case, are they bad? I still think they're pretty bad, just because they require like so many things to happen in order for them to be useful. Like you need to have an Eddie room, um, not be forced to leave the Eddie room in some situations in order to get more HP for them. Like, you know, it, either way, you're getting some free, you know, goodness out of them. But I, I don't think they're maybe as good. Soul of Blue Baby. No, 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 no. Uh, as, as like almost any other consumable in the game, but at the same time, when you get them to pop, they're, they're not useless. So that's how you know you got a good item. My review of the soul of Jacob uh, and Esau. Literally not useless. Um, its uses are somewhat limited, but not useless. We're losing like a wisp per shot here, man. We gotta... I don't know if there's any other way around this, but... <laughs> now, this is what I'm interested about, is the idea that maybe... Having saved so much money for so long... And thank you, yes, Dave Ramsey, thank you. Appreciate it. Here's the secret. Um, it's a lot easier to save money when uh, you don't have to spend it uh, on anything. Because all the stuff that's for sale is garbage. That's my advice on that one. Why don't you go ahead and take me in here. If they wanted to make Isaac more like real life, they would charge you like 15 cents a floor just to survive. Otherwise, your HP decayed rapidly. Okay, so we can pay for deals, which is nice, um, but the deals suck. So, I really feel like we did our part. We, we tried to get a cool synergy to happen, and the game said, Ah, oh, cool synergy, huh? Here's like one guppy item. The game has changed. We, d we, don't, we don't farm guppy that much anymore. When it happens, I'm, I'm thrilled, but... It's not as everything is automatic as it used to be. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. You got me. I, I tried to do some cheeky dodges. Cheeky dodge. Cheeky freaking dodges. <laughs> it's pretty, you ever see Peaky Blinders? By the way, I know this is going to come up because we talked about it before. 
NL, have you watched the dating show where um, the participants dress up in uh, essentially like elaborate costumes that you could describe perhaps as a fursuit? Uh, I tried to watch the first episode, okay? I thought it was um, a brazen idea for a television program that could be fun. Literally within the first six or seven minutes, I turned it off and vowed never to watch it again. Not just because it ended up being like aggressively stupid, but also because the editing actually was like... I don't know how to express it, because this is not my medium of expertise, but I felt like the editing was aggressively hostile to me. Like, it felt like I was being shouted at at all times. Like, they, they do this photo shoot where they keep just showing the um, the person in their costume, but they, they do a jump cut between, like, all the different poses they've made, like, once every half second with, like, flashing lights and stuff like that, and... I'm not really photosensitive at all. I was just kind of like... It was just a little much, you know what I mean? So I, I turned it off. I was like, this is just unpleasant to watch. The, the actual content of the show, I can't really speak to it. I'm out of bombs. How about that? Uh, we are going to win, by the way. This was not at any point like a, a super awesome, easy uh, Lazarus run, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. You know, I, I think we, we took exactly as much damage as we could <laughs> and still made it. For now, thanks for watching. We're, we're back on the horse. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. I'll upset a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Follow me on Twitch as well, twitch.tv slash northernlion. I'm live there every weekday. Uh, see you next time. See you.